Let's imagine that a British organization or client needs your skills or expertise. So you need to work for a short time in the UK. You'll need the appropriate visa. The visa must allow you to work for the time you want. In other words, you need a UK permitted pay engagement visa. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I will explain who needs a permitted paid visa, the requirements, eligibility requirements, the application process, and so much more. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, no time is burdened right now. Do it so you can stay updated on visas and get a free cheat sheet for this visa. We publish three new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. Let's go. What is a permitted paid engagement visa? This visa is a work visa. British employers and organizations have the authorization to invite eligible people to work in the UK. They can invite talented people to benefit from their skills or expertise. The applicants can take part in various activities. Let's talk about what you can do. Number one, participate in meetings and discussions over research, education, or arts by the British organization that has invited you. Number two, give speeches and lectures as long as you're not performing a formal teaching role. Number three, take part in activities related to sporting activities, entertainment, and arts. Number four, give advocacy services in a legal case. Number five, examine the aviation standards of the UK by the in invitation of a British organization. Number six, participate in a modeling events. Let's talk about what you can't do. Number one, participate in paid work that is unrelated to your previous job or major expertise. Number two, take part in paid activities that are unrelated to what is allowed in your visa. Number three, switch to another UK visa. Number four, receive public funds from the British government. Number five, study in the UK. Number six, marry a British national or register a civil partnership. Number seven, receive private medical treatment. Number eight, bring any members of your family to the UK. Family members must apply for another visa separately. Number nine, live in the UK over different periods. Number 10, extend the visa under any circumstances. Okay. Who is eligible for a permitted paid engagement visa? Number one, age. You must be at least 18. Number two, duration of a stay. There is a limit and you can't stay in the UK for longer than one month. Number three, enough funds. You must hold enough funds to cover yourself in the UK, including accommodation and common expenditure. Number four, intention to leave. You must leave the UK after one month of a stay. The British officials need proof that you will leave the UK on time. You have to provide any related evidence of it. Number five, being able to return. You must have enough money to be able to return to your home country. The officials need proof of it at the time of the application. You could buy the return ticket to prove this item. Number six, destination. After one month, you must return to your home country. You have no permission to go to another place other than your home country. Number seven, nationality. To apply for the permitted paid engagement visa, you must be out of the EEA. Number eight, invitation. You must have an invitation from a British client or organization. Number nine, intention. 
your intention to come to the UK must be working for a client or organization. You could not come under a tire visa and then use the permitted paid engagements. Who needs a UK permitted paid engagement visa? Whether you need a visa or not depends on your nationality. There isn't a complete list of countries that need or don't need the visa. You can use the tool of the UK visa and immigration website. The link for that tool is in our article. Link is in the description. When you enter the site, put your nationality in. If you have dual citizenship, pick the one that you're traveling with. Secondly, it asks about the purpose of your vi visits. You should choose work for the UK paid engagement visa. Then enter the length of your stay. It is under six months for this visa. In the end, the tool will tell you whether you need a visa or not. What are the requirements for the UK permitted paid engagement visa? Let's look at them. Number one, passport. Your passport cannot be older than 10 years and must have one blank page. Number two, enough funds. For example, bank statements, pay slips, etc. The documents you submit must be for the latest six months to the date of application. Number three, invitation letter. You must have an invitation letter from the British client or organization inviting you. It must be formal and written bearing the complete details of the host. Number four, related field proof. Provide evidence that the work you will be doing in the UK is related to your university major, skills or expertise or qualifications. Number five, travel history, uh, provided if applicable. Provide proof of any previous trips to other countries. If you had other passports, provide them as well. Number six, proof of residence. If you are not a national of the country you live in, provide legal proof of residence. The residence must be valid at the time of application. Number seven, Proof of professional status. It depends on the type of work or activity you will be doing in the UK. Number eight, photos. Provide two photos. They must be passport size with a white background. They also must be identical and taken in the past three months. Number nine, tuberculosis test results. If you are from one of the certain countries, you need to take a TB test. You can go to our article again and see the link for the list of these countries. Remember that the officials will ask for particular requirements, whether you are a lawyer, doctor, pilot, etc. You need to have the documents in your language translated into English. Okay. Here's a question. How to apply for a permitted paid engagement visa? Step one, check to see if you need a UK visa. As mentioned, use the tool introduced on the UK visa and immigration websites. Step two, check to see if you fulfill the eligibility principles. Uh, I talked about it. number three, apply for the visa. The application for the permitted paid engagement visa is online. Before you begin the procedure, get an email address. You must have access to the email and its password. When you enter the site, choose your language. Then choose the country in which you make your application. Remember that you have to submit your requirements in the place you select. So, be careful while you pick the country that you should submit the requirements. Step four, gather the requirements. Collect all the requirements. Be extra careful with the small details. Remember, gathering all the requirements could take a bit long. So, start a bit early. Step five, set and attend an interview. Make an appointment with the British Embassy or Visa Application Center. 
check its website to see where to submit the requirements. Schedule an appointment with the center. Remember the exact date and time. You have to get there a bit early. Don't forget to bring all of the requirements. Submit everything to the officials. Then you have to pay the fee for visa processing. So you must have enough money with yourself. They might ask questions about your background. So be ready. Step six, wait for the processing. You have to wait until the officials issue your visa. When they issue it, they will inform you. Depending on the center, they might post it to your address. Once you have a visa, you can move to the UK. Congratulations. Another question. How long is the UK permitted paid engagement visa valid? You have permission to stay in the UK for a month. You have no authorization to stay longer. The duration of this visa cannot get extended. Now, another question. How much is the UK permitted engagement visa fee? The, a permitted paid engagement visa costs you 95 pounds. The British Embassy or Visa Center might charge you more. It depends on the services they provide. They might need to do more work on your application, so they charge more. Ask the center whether they accept cash or credit cards. Okay, uh, another question. Can you bring your family under the UK permitted paid engagement visa? No. You have no authorization to bring your family to the UK under the UK permitted paid engagement visa. Well, there you go. Now you can start your application and get a UK permitted paid engagement visa. If the steps were so confusing, don't worry. I've put a cheat sheet on our website. Go and download it. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. You can also follow our social media accounts. If you have any type of visa that you want to know about, write the name in the description or comment section and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.